Good morning! Welcome to WVTV. I am Teacher Joanne. Today, we will learn about mixtures. Mixtures are found almost everywhere. It is found in the foods and drinks that we take. Buildings cannot be formed without mixtures. We'll know more about mixtures and its different types through this short clip from the Knowledge Channel. But before that, please take note that we will be answering these three questions. What is a mixture? What are the two types of mixtures? And how do these two mixtures differ from each other? So I guess we're all set. Let's watch this short clip. Magkakahalo po yung sago, gulaman, at yung tubig na may anibal. Ah! Pero kitang-kita pa rin po yung pagkakaiba ng sago, gulaman, at yung tubig na may anibal. Tapos, yung homogeneous mixture naman po ay yung magkakahalong bagay na hindi nakikita yung pagkakaiba. Ah! Abay, tulad pala ng ice thing eh! Kaya na nga po, napakasarap po yan! Abay, saglit! Ako ba bagay, pwede pa bang magtanaw? Sure! Ako ba eh, pagbibilan niya o hindi? Ay, oo nga po ba? Ay, ay, sorry po, nandala lang po. One cup of ice tea coming right up! And there you have it, the video clip from the Knowledge Channel. Now, just a little recap. We have learned about mixtures. A mixture is a combination of two or more substances. And we got two types of mixtures. What are those? Right, heterogeneous and homogeneous mixtures. In heterogeneous mixture, the substances are not evenly distributed. What's the presented example in the video clip? Correct, it's sagot gulaman. Why? Because in sagot gulaman, you mix the sago, gulaman, and the syrup, but you can still see the different components that you have mixed in it. As further examples for heterogeneous mixtures, we can have fruit salad, chocolate chip cookies, and pizza. On the other hand, in homogeneous mixture, all the substances are evenly distributed throughout the mixture. What example did they use in the video clip? Exactly, the iced tea, because you can no longer identify the tea powder, sugar, and water after they were mixed. Another possible examples could be leche flan, orange juice, salt water, even your blood is a homogeneous mixture because it is composed of different components. Mixtures are commonly used in food preparation, construction, detergents, agriculture, and many more. Now, for your assignment, I'd like you to look around inside your home. Then, using this worksheet, list down all the mixtures you see at home. The first column is for you to list 10 mixtures found inside your home. In the second column, 
describe the appearance of the mixture you listed. In the third column, classify whether it is homogeneous or heterogeneous mixture. And in the fourth column, determine what it is used for. I hope you all get my instructions. So it has been a great day to all of us, as today we have learned something new. That only proves that not even COVID-19 can stop us from learning. So again, I am your teacher Joanne, and this is WVTV. See you again tomorrow.